Please. <laughs> Good morning. Um, it's like 6.30 or I don't know. It's like 6 a.m. And I have to finish up some work, which is what I'm doing right now. Um, and then I'm gonna shower and get going. We got, I'm so tired, I can't even talk. Oh, so I'm ready. Um, this is the outfit that I've been able to scrap together with whatever was in my bag. So I've got my NASA shirt and this um, very thin little jacket shirt type thing, which kind of sucks because I just checked the weather and it's actually gonna be pretty cold today. So we'll see how that goes. Whatever, I'm gonna go. I'm really excited. I'm running late, so I gotta go, but I'll see you later. Bye. The Air Force has got a uh, little, little experimental uh, X-37B in there. We're not supposed to talk about it, but if you want to Google it, they'll mm -hmm. tell you everything you need. These are these are the engineering buildings here. I was B1 and one and two over here. These are these are workshops.
can't see anything. Oh, there we go. Um, so it is 6.26 a.m. and I have a few minutes to get to the bus, but I'm not tired because I found this Dunkin' Donuts uh, shot in the dark in my Airbnb's uh, refrigerator, which she said I could take, and woo! I am feeling pumped up, so ready, gonna see a launch today, let's go! Wow! let us essentially come and see their Starliner rocket. I think it's like NASA's commercial program where they're allowing commercial uh, companies to actually send um, astronauts to the ISS. So here is that rocket, right there. shuttle what the size of it is today or was but this is the low bay right here the uh, this this building was built back in the early 60s for the Saturn program this is the first stage was processed in the floor, bottom of the floor back down here second stage was in these cells right here third stage was back over here so as they as they stacked up they would, take, would pick it up and move it over into, into the high bays and everything but we always used high bay one and, and uh, three down there so you got four high bays this building is 527 feet tall and no it doesn't rain in here but it does okay because if you get up around the 37th floor something like that the the moisture will come in there and it'll drop down and it will it'll actually condense and turn into rain droplets but then it, it breaks them up again and goes back into moisture again about 10 stories down so technically no it doesn't rain in here but i've had raindrops on my face so <laughs> so you can't say it does rain in here. So we are in the VAB, so this building has basically been here since the very beginning, and it's massive. Say? That's the space really, shuttle. Really, this really, really the amazing. Space These are rocket boosters. That's a fuel tank. This picture was taken right in here, where we are right now. Entertain. If we find ourselves there right now, we know we'll have to stand down the sixth anyway. 
um, and uh, and then we'll pick back up on the seventh. And, and again, uh, Jessica probably knows off the top of her head. I'm I'm trying to think of it, but if we launched on the seventh, when that's that, what it, if that's they did, yeah. Days, so uh, it it may be that that's the agreement we have with our Russian colleagues. And if we uh, if we have to move off the fifth, uh, then we'll 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 figure out how to how to uh, to work together on that. But I would anticipate that we would probably probably. Um, Put a, put a so apparently um, they've decided to have the launch as a no-go, which means it's not happening today. We're not entirely sure why. The news just sort of trickled through to everyone. So yeah, it's not the best ending, but you know the trip was still incredible and we we're all really happy to be here. We're just all going to go back on the bus and mope and be sad together, but you know, things happen. Okay, so there's been an update. Apparently, they're actually gonna launch the dragon tomorrow. So they said that if we are able to watch tomorrow to actually meet them in the parking lot and be on the bus by 11. So that's pretty awesome. And I can't remember if I said why it was canceled. It was actually canceled because there were um, high winds, which makes sense. You don't want to launch a rocket when there's high winds. So yeah, so I'm gonna come back tomorrow and see if um, if it happens or not. And in the meantime, I'm actually at the Kennedy Space Center visiting visitor complex. Going into the Space Kennedy Visitor Center! Woo! Yeah, 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 yeah! Which is like this incredible museum that has all of these artifacts from the past uh, missions that NASA has done. This was one of the things that I was so excited about actually going to because, you know, I love history. Um, again, really sad that the launch didn't happen today, but I'll spend a few hours at the museum, sure. What a wonderful So I am uh, on day three or four or something of being in Orlando and I'm up super early so I can do work before the um, launch today. I'm actually at a Target parking lot so that I can use their Starbucks to do work. I don't know if this is a thing, but I'm going to do it. Um, so I'll probably do about two hours of work and then I have to head out to the Kennedy Space Center to hopefully see a launch. So cross your fingers! It's happening! We should get our final go for launch here from the launch director. Dragon is a startup. Dragon is a startup. So excited! Oh, there was another, yeah, I saw another, another dolphin. Right over here too. Oh. I don't know how to contain myself. Go for the launch. <laughs> 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 
You also may see water beginning to flood the launch pad at about 18 seconds to go. It's very normal. That's part of the sound suppression system, all part of the, the engineering launch. 30 seconds. Okay, guys, this is so cool. My heart's like beating so fast. <laughs> she's she's also br freaking out. <laughs> Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo! And into the mission. Oh my god, wow. Transporting critical research to the and so freaking cool. And then deep space. Yes! Do you see it? Oh my god. I just I don't have words I don't wor I don't have words to describe how crazy of an experience that was how lucky I feel to have been able to have it and how thankful I am to all of the team at NASA who put the NASA social together and who chose me to be able to come and experience this and if anything 
it has made me appreciate um, space exploration more and obviously it has made me want to eventually work at NASA so yeah I guess all there is left to say is peace out I don't know I don't really know how to end this actually I don't know that's kind of it like it's, it's sort of back to normal life now which I don't know how I'm gonna do but um yeah I guess that's it Yeah, who, who ran all the goats this morning coming in? <laughs> Good shot, buddy. Love it. We are headed on the bus to hopefully go see a lodge. I had to put on a hat because it's super hot and sunny today. There's the bus. My third time alone. I love hanging out with all your space nerds. <laughs> Take it all in because I promise we'll see that launch. Behind me is a rocket right there. I don't know if this is a good angle.